Today, I got an exciting but simple and hopefully fast review of this lav mic that was sent to me for review. I'm not being paid to review this, full disclosure, but I do get to keep this that was sent to me for free. I know it's just a lav mic, but I think you may wanna watch this entire video because uh, the design of this is what got me really excited and wanted me to accept to review this product. At the time I'm shooting this segment, I haven't tested the audio yet, obviously, but just alone from the design, I am super excited about this that I think you don't wanna miss. By the way, my name is Sean. If this is the first time you're stopping by, this is my tech channel where I review uh, uh, tech products and do unboxing and tutorials. So if you enjoy content like this, you may wanna hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, and when you hit the bell icon, make sure to change that to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my future videos. So let's get on with the unboxing and we're gonna do some audio tests. So here it is. Let's see if this is worth all the hype. When you open up the box, you have your owner's manual. You have a pouch with all the cables and the magnetic clip. And you have your transmitter, receiver, slash storage. Look how tiny these things are. Here there are. You have your transmitter and you have your receiver slash storage. You have about 20 hours of battery life in this and you can charge it three more times to get additional 60 hours and that's how you get total of 80 hours. You can place this right in here and it will charge and store it. This is an incredibly clever design. Back here you have your ports. This is your on and off or multi-function button. And depending on what type of device you're connecting this to, you will use the uh, this port right here or the USB type C, which you would also use for charging. It comes with another clip for this right here. So you can conveniently place this wherever you would like. And we're gonna go ahead and test that. And it comes with all these different cables. So depending on what you're connecting it to, uh, you have to use some of these different devices. For example, the TRS to TRS cable, the one that only has two bands on it, you use this to connect this to uh, any kind of other speakers, camera, or PC. So when I'm gonna test this and hook it up to my uh, DSLR that I'm recording, this is what I'll be using. If you're gonna connect it to a phone, you need a TRRS. This is basically, that's the one with the three bands. So this side will go into your iPhone or your Android phone, whatever uh, headphone jack you have. And then um, this is a USB type C to USB type C, as well as a USB type A to USB type C, if you want to connect it to other PCs, laptops, and maybe some other cell phones that accept USB type C. If you want to connect it to an iPhone 12, let's say, or 11, you don't have USB type C and you don't have a headphone jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this to see if I use a USB type C to a lightning cable, if I can go ahead and use this transmitter. So we're gonna test that in a minute. Push and hold. Yep. Push and hold, blue light will come on. Same thing here, I guess. So when you get a solid blue light, that means it has successfully paired. When you get a flashing red light, that means the battery is low. When you get a rapid red flashing lights, that means the battery is really low. So I'm gonna go ahead, connect this to this right here. And right here to USB-C. So this is my receiver right now, and this is gonna be my transmitter. So I'm gonna record a short uh, video clip and see how this will uh, record. We're gonna do an A-B test first. Let me just record this as if my phone was sitting here. This is an audio test just using the internal microphone of iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right, let's do that again. Before I play back the sample audios, the audio you're listening to right now is recorded through an NTG5 um, microphone and it's recorded into a Zoom F6. So that's $1,200 worth of audio equipment right now to try to capture the best that is coming out of these. This is an audio test using a lav mic recorded into my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So initially I could tell you um, from the lav mic, it seemed a little bit less airy and my voice was slightly enhanced. So it will be interesting when I put the actual audio files into post-production so I can listen to it closely to see if I will notice the difference. But I tell you, the audio levels, um, the noise cancellation that it offers, as you can see, 
the fan is on <laughs> right above uh, the camera, uh, only about like five feet um, ahead of where I'm sitting right now. Uh, so yes, you can get this cable and use it with your iPhone as well or anything else you like. So it has been a few days since I shot the first part of the video. And the reason for that is when I was editing the video, I realized all the audio when I had this lav mic connected to this DSLR, it came out really gargled and that kind of messed up all my testing. So I went back and forth and finally reached out to the company and they said that this lav mic currently does not support any DSLR. So you just need to be mindful of that. My goal was to be able to use this lav mic because it's so convenient and it has such a good design as sync audio but unfortunately I cannot do that. However, you have seen the quality of it with a smartphone and in order to give you a better sense and understanding of the quality of this lav mic, I'm recording this section of the video, uh, not only through this microphone, but also through the lav mic connected to my MacBook Pro. And uh, so I'll put the audio back and forth and I'm probably gonna put on the screen whatever audio you're listening to so that way you can kind of get an understanding. Obviously you cannot compare this lav mic with this monster of a setup I got with my recorder and my microphone. But having said that, you want to see at this budget option, what options do you have? So who is this lav mic for and is it worth the price? So I think the design is absolutely clever. Right now I just have this connected with a USB-C to um, my MacBook Pro and it acts as the receiver. When I don't want it, then when I'm not using it, I can just put this back in. It will charge it for me. And it's just like the entire package into one. You have all the cables you need. And I cannot just stress how much I absolutely love the design. I'm so disappointed that this doesn't work with the DSLR, but that's one downside. Outside of that, if someone who uh, you, you vlog with your, with your phone and you want to have good consistent audio, and sometimes when you set your phone down, you walk away, you want to be able to still capture good audio and a wireless lav mic will become very handy. If someone who uses um, Zoom meetings or you teach or whatever you do, you telework and you want to have that consistent, good quality audio without being tethered to um, uh, your laptop, this is definitely for you. So if you think you're one of those people, then this is absolutely worth the money. So this was it guys. Hopefully you found this useful, entertaining, whatever you want to call it. As always, my goal is to give you honest opinion. So you guys know the pros and cons and see if a product is worth your money because to some extent is a little bit subjective. This was it. If you got any feedback for me, how I can improve my uh, video content definitely let me know if you have not had a chance to like this video that's the best help you can give me if you have not subscribed and you like uh, tech videos like this definitely consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one